a business masterclass. Seth Day is co-founder of Blue Skies, one of the world's biggest fresh-cut fruit companies. Established in Ghana 16 years ago, Blue Skies exports worldwide and last year posted earnings of 100 million US dollars. Ghanaian business leaders came to central Accra to hear about how the company achieved that. We live in the future and that means we'll pretend to live a kind of predictable life. Okay. Uh, there is no improvisation, there is no uh, work that is done which has not been planned. So we try to organize our lives and follow that. We try to follow that efficiently. That efficiency means Blue Skies can be competitive at an international level. But according to the company's general manager, Ruth Ajay, home governments also have a crucial role to play. Most of the challenges that um, local companies are facing currently is the support from the government to be able to be viable. In the agri-sector, for example, where farmers are getting lack of um, support from the government when it comes to funds. So the key thing is for the government to be able to invest into agriculture and make it sustainable. And I think that's where you get graduates going into agriculture. The Ghanaian government has said it doesn't want Ghana to be a nation of shopkeepers. It wants more Ghanaian businesses to grow, process and export natural resources. A meeting like this is a chance for CEOs to come together to discuss how to achieve that aim as well as emulate the success that Blue Skies has had. I think the interesting thing that we face, not just in Ghana, but on the continent over, is how to create jobs. It's not necessarily government's role to do that. But the interesting view as well is to create 100,000 jobs, you potentially need to create 1,000 companies. And it's how we create these 1,000 companies that will challenge Africa as a whole. A year ago, the Ghanaian government came up with new laws to favour Ghanaian-owned businesses over foreign companies. But it still has to balance that with encouraging international investment. The onus then falls on Ghana's business leaders to make their companies a success. Katerina Vitozzi for CCTV in Accra, Ghana.